Una de las actividades fundamentales dentro del proyecto europeo Mona Lisa es aquella que trata sobre la mejora de la coordinación de las emergencias marítimas en aguas costeras. Específicamente estamos hoy reunidos aquí en este ejercicio eh, para tratar eh, las emergencias que se denominan en gran escala. Son aquellas emergencias caracterizadas por un gran número de personas involucradas y porque normalmente los medios disponibles son insuficientes debido a la escalada de la emergencia. En este ejercicio participamos todos los organismos nacionales que tienen una, alguna competencia en el ámbito de la acción del Estado español en la mar, desde la Guardia Civil, aduanas y, por supuesto, la Sociedad de Salvamento y Seguridad Marítima. Dentro de la competencia del, del Servicio de Salvamento de la Vida Humana en la Mar, que le corresponde a, a SASEMAR. Este ejercicio nos va a permitir, primero, identificar puntos de mejora en la coordinación que ya existe a muy buen nivel dentro del, dentro del nivel nacional y, 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 en definitiva, participar en un proceso de mejora continua eh, intercambiando todos los datos y comunicaciones que necesitemos. The tabletop exercise gathered together at the Jovellanos Center offices and experts from the Spanish organizations responsible for maritime safety in order to participate in a simulated SAR exercise carried out of Valencia, as a preparatory action to introduce the real-time SARX that will take place in June 2015 in the framework of the Mona Lisa 2.0 project. At approximately 0900 local time on the 15th of June 2015, a fire broke out in the auxiliary engine room on board the flag state registered cruise roll-on roll-off passenger ferry Mona Lisa. The ferry had sailed from Palma de Mallorca after completing her last port of call. The seat of the fire was in the way of the auxiliary engine's fuel supply module and quickly spread across the compartment. The fire was eventually extinguished by the ship's crew. There were 3,900 passengers on board and 1,313 crew members. At 1,200 hours local time, a second fire broke out on the deck above the auxiliary engine room, and smoke spread to adjacent compartments, including the engine control room and remote passenger accommodation areas. As part of the firefighting effort, the fixed local application or water mist fire suppression system, and the total flooding or high expansion foam, and bilge or low expansion foam firefighting extinguishing systems were all activated, but did not completely extinguish the fire. The captain issued the order to abandon ship. After a roll call, three passengers were declared missing. The major events were as follows. Notification process starts. Development of the search and rescue plans. Multi-agency units tasked. Estimated passenger casualties rise to between 200 and 220. A medical base to enable triage is considered. Air and maritime search and rescue units deployment. Ship is towed to Valencia. Estamos en el simulador de maniobra y lo que estamos haciendo es a partir de la información que nos llega de la sala de crisis nosotros la transformamos en información para el simulador y estamos reproduciendo todo lo que ocurre allí. Lo estamos reproduciendo aquí con la salvedad de que aquí se dan los tiempos reales, aquí lo que tardan las embarcaciones en llegar o el helicóptero, pues lógicamente son tiempos reales. Y tenemos todas las embarcaciones que están utilizando aquí, tienen su reproducción visual y técnica en este lado. Mona Lisa 2.0, tabletop exercise in the maneuver and sailing simulator. Everything that happened in the theoretical or tabletop exercise was reproduced in real time in the simulator. The virtual scenario of the port of Valencia had been previously set up for the action to take place. So when it started, the rescue units were in their usual locations in the port. Real boats are represented by models that respond to the behavior of ships at sea. So journey times are real. This is one of the simulator's main contributions. The emergency started when the Mona Lisa ferry informed of a fire on board. Without delay, the three units available, the Salvamar Pollux, the tug SAR Messana, and the Helima helicopter were all tasked at the ferry's position, located around 12 miles east of the port. The rescue helicopter took off from its base roughly 10 minutes later and on approaching the Mona Lisa, sighted the smoke from the fire. 
It flew over a few times, but did not see any lifeboats or rafts around the ship. A short while later, just 25 minutes after the call to task, the Salvamar Pollocks arrived and immediately started the search for three crew members who had disappeared over an hour before, something that was known at the time. The SAR pattern, as defined by the Rescue Coordination Centre, was followed for the search, just as it is in real life, an expanding square pattern for the boat and a grill for the helicopter. It was the helicopter that sighted an active floating smoke signal, perfectly visible from a distance and lit by one of the shipwrecked crew members. In half an hour, the three crew members had been located and rescued. The helicopter went back to base from this position as it was running out of fuel. Meanwhile, two tugs and a Navy patrol boat were tasked in port, and the tug SAR Masana arrived at the scene of the emergency to inspect the outside of the Mona Lisa and prepare for towing. The fire was getting worse, however, and at 10 hundred hours local time, the captain of the Mona Lisa gave the order to abandon ship. So on the simulator, a large number of rafts and lifeboats can be seen. They are rescued by the various different vessels that have mobilised. An hour later, the fire was under control and the Mona Lisa was drifting. So the SAR Masana had to tow it. This also takes place on the simulator. The tug and the ferry head for Valencia at a speed of three knots, just like in real life. This situation brings the simulator exercise to an end.